Hi, I'm Stephen Fisher with Yamaha, and I'm here to show you the DTX400K. It's a great drum set, a great value, and it's great for a wide variety of applications. Whether you're going to use it for practicing, or you want to use it to record with, or for education purposes, or even if you just want to have fun sitting down and playing drums with your favorite songs, it's a great drum set. Let's take a closer look at the DTX400K. First of which, the DTX400K is the quietest drum set that Yamaha makes, and probably the quietest drum set that's out there, period. And that's what you want to do when you practice and buy an electronic drum set, is you want it quiet. And it's quiet not only because of the great feeling gum rubber pads, but because of the beaterless kick pedal called the KU100. So it doesn't have a beater that's actually hitting a bass drum pad that can create a lot of vibration, a lot of noise throughout your house, apartment, condo, whatever it is. So as a matter of fact, if you're out there and you actually have a drum set that's kind of loud and you want to make it quieter, you can buy the KU100 all by itself. But it comes complete with the DTX400. We got our cymbals, we got our pads, it's on a rack, and you know, especially for a drum set like this, you know, a lot of electronic drum sets aren't built all that great. This is Yamaha quality components that's sitting right here, so it's durable and it's built to last, and it sounds great. Let's take a look at the DTX400 sound module. First of all, you'll notice it's really easy to operate, so anybody can operate this. But you also find out later, as we get into it, that it's got features for drummers of any skill level to be able to play and, and utilize this drum set. It's very simple in the fact we have 10 drum sets, we have 10 songs, and there's 10 groove tools training exercises that'll get you to be a better drummer faster. Let's go back to the drum kits. There's 169 sounds, and there's the 10 drum kits, but you can edit those drum kits. You can make your own custom drum kits. And there's a lot of drum kits in this price point that you can't do that with. The songs, there's 10 songs, but you can also change those out and put in new songs as well. So it's very flexible in that regard. And then, of course, the groove tools training exercises. But going back to kits, let's listen to some of the drum sets. There's 10 songs that are in the module, and of course you can actually replace those to put in new songs later. Let's take a listen.
The first exercise is called Groove Check. What that does is you play along with a metronome and the lights flash corresponding to the pads you're playing. And if you're playing in time or not, you'll see the lights flash in different places. For example, if I'm in time, the lights flash right in the middle. If I start to slow down, the lights flash to the right. And if I start to speed up, the lights flash to the left. And I'll actually play in time for a little bit and then I'll slow down and speed up and so you can see that. The DTX 400 is the only drum set that will talk to you. It'll actually tell if you're doing great or if you're doing okay or, I mean, it's not gonna say bad things to you, but you know, you get the idea. It's, it's very encouraging to hear someone congratulate you on the job you do. And that's what'll happen after this exercise. Great. The second exercise is called Rhythm Gate. Now you don't have to look at the front panel to see if you're playing in time or not, because if you're not playing in time, you won't hear any drum sounds. Now instead of just using the metronome, I'm going to play along with one of the songs that's in the module. Great. One of the greatest things about the DTX 400 series drum kits is the fact that there's apps available for you to download for your iOS device, and they're free. They're awesome apps. I'm going to take you through some of them. The first one is called DTX 400 Touch. Now, you remember I said that the great thing about this drum set, and unlike other drum sets in this price range, you can't edit the sounds. But in this one, you can edit the sounds. That's the great thing, and the apps make it really easy to edit. Let's take a look. As you can see, it scrolls through and shows the different drum kit presets that are there. And you can even use the buttons on the DTX module to control what's there too. Now, one of the neat things about this, what I'm gonna do, let's go, let's go to, for example, our funk kit. Now, if I wanna go assign some different sounds, I can do it very easily. And it will note chase to the pad. So let's say, Tom number two, I wanna add a cowbell. Hit the pad, or I can actually touch the screen, either one. And I can go to percussion. And I can scroll through all my percussion sounds till I get to cowbell, and there it is. It's that simple. Now let's say this drum set I want to take, it's a funk kit, and we're, it's kind of getting towards, uh, I'd like to make a drum and bass kit. So we're kind of getting there because it's a lot of tight, uh, higher pitch sounds, but let's go you know, make some more edits to make it into a drum and bass style kit. So I'm going to go to settings. There's even more editing, though. Take a look. Trigger settings, velocity curve for your pads, crosstalk gain. For example, you want to do double bass, like that, that drum and bass kit that I did. Uh, if you want to turn it into a double bass kit, it's easy, or any kit. Just turn the on button. For example, for hi-hat. Everyone's kind of picky about their hi-hat and the clutch position, those kind of things. You can adjust all those settings here. Clutch position, splash sensitivity, foot close position, foot close velocity, and even getting to other settings, the reverb type, the snare pad type, if you use a different pad, the voice guidance, the saying it's you're great, you're perfect, all that stuff, you can turn that on or off. And of course, stereo or mono mode. Another free app is called DTX Lessons. It has everything you need to get you going with your drum set and learning how to play drums. Let's take a look at it. 
You can see it has all the different topics that are there, like getting started. Let's take a look at that one. How to hold the drumsticks, how to play the snare drum, how to play the hi-hat. You can see all these different things that are actually little videos. So if I want to learn how to play the snare drum. So if we're using the TP70S pad, it's a three zone pad. So we have access to three different sounds from the one pad. So you get the idea with that. And of course, things like the, going through the training functions. If you want to know each of the training functions, I can go through and say, let's, for example, let's say uh, you want to find out again what rhythm gate is all about. So rhythm gate is a really useful tool for your practice. I use it all the time. Um, it only allows sound to come from the pads when you're playing exactly in time with the click. So I'll quickly show you this. So again, you get the idea. That's all the training is right there. We're just that with one app, and it's, that app is free. The next app I'm going to show you is called Song Beats, and you can use it with any DTX kit. This is a great app because you play along with songs that are in the app, and you can actually add new ones to them as well. But let's take a look at it. As you can see, we have the layout of the drum set here, and the pads correspond to the pads I'm playing. Bass drum, snare drum. Now, as the song is going to start to play, you'll see the pads basically illuminate when they're supposed to be played. And if I play them at the right time, you'll see a little, little splash mark. You'll see the, the little excitement there that, uh, that I actually hit the pad at the right time. Let's say you're not used to looking at this type of a display, and you're kind of used to playing rock band and those kind of games where you've got the chips and you can see you know, when it's supposed to hit the right instrument. We have that too. It's called scroll. Scroll mode has all the different instruments listed, and as the timeline moves forward, you can tell which instrument you're supposed to play at what time. So you can take a look. There's another thing you can do in regards to this. Let's go back to the kit mode there. Is there's a lot of editing. If you want to slow the song down, if you want to mute parts, you can do that. Take a listen. Let's say, for example, you're just not getting the beat and you really want to play it and you want to do a good job if you look right in the corner there, there's a video button, and it'll actually take you to a multi-camera video shoot of a person showing you that beat. One of the great things about song beats is besides being able to use it with any DTX kit, you can load songs into this as well. It comes with songs, but you can load your own songs, and you can actually get those from the Yamaha MusicSoft website. So there's an endless amount of possibilities for play along. As you can see in here, the DTX 400K is an amazing drum kit. It's got a lot of great features with the 10 songs, the 10 kits, the 10 groove tools, training exercises. You can customize the kits, you can put in new songs. Not only that, but of course you start adding with the free apps they can do so many different things and get so much more out of this drum set. It's an amazing value. If you want to know more about the DTX 400K or any of the great Yamaha products, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, and I know they'll be glad to help you out.